In this video, I am going to show you how to explore the outliers in Jump. For that, go to Analyze. After importing your data, go to Screening and click on Explore Outliers. Here you can work on one variable at a time or you can select all the three variables together to work with them and click on OK. Now, uh, one of the options is to identify the outliers based on the quantile. Here, I need to define what is my tail quantile. Usually, we take quartile 1 as our tail quantile. So, the value will be 0.25. And Q is the multiplier for interquartile range. So, here I am just going to write 1.5 which we standardly follow. So, therefore, the tail quantile will be 0.25 and upper quantile will be 0.75 because this is 1 minus 0.25 and to each quantile we are gonna either subtract or add our 1.5 times of the interquartile range then click on quantile range outliers now as soon as you click on it uh, it will show that what column contains outlier so for example x doesn't contain any outlier y contains outlier there are two outliers so I have selected Y and if you want to select those rows where the outliers are, click on select rows. And if I just scroll it down, you will see that outlier, there is an outlier in row 365 for variable Y, for the column Y. Now what you can do is you can right click here and you can choose to hide and exclude from the analysis. So hide option will not plot this particular row and exclude option will also uh, will eliminate this row from the analysis but will not delete it from the original data you can use the same option from here also click on the column whose corresponding rows you would like to uh, whose outliers corresponding row you would like to exclude so you can click on exclude rows here now let's see if i want to also find out key, okay or exclude the rows where the z vary where column has outliers so click on z here and it will highlight if you click on select rows it will highlight those rows where the outlier is there in the uh, Z column so there are eight outliers and I can now click on exclude rows so this particular procedure has excluded all the rows which contain the outlier either in Y column or has an outlier either in the Z column that's how you use the quantile range outliers option we have another option which is based on the robust fit outlier and I'm just going to quickly show you here I'm going to clear the row states that means this is the imported data original data and go to analyze screening explore outliers let's select all these three data uh, columns again if you see this fit uh, sorry this option robust fit outlier this option you can also use here the idea is that the software is going to decide uh, determine what is the center of the data that means what is the average of the data and it is using the robust average or the robust center now what is robust center it is a it is the average of the data you can think in this way this is the average of the data without uh, or uh, what you can say is key the calculated average of the data which has minimum effect of the outliers because outliers are gonna definitely you know skew your data and uh, they are gonna affect the average of the data or the center of the data so there are two me three methods one is hoover method method cauchy method and quartile method which can be used to calculate the robust center or robust average of the data which has minimum impact of the outliers on it and once you calculate that average robust average or robust center of the data I am going to define certain sigma level, let's say 3 sigma. So any value which is 3 sigma left or to the right of the center of the data, that I will identify as an outlier. So let's say 3 is the number 3 sigma. So any value which is 3 sigma distance away from the robust center of the data, that uh, will be classified as an outlier either to the left or to the right and click on robust fit outlier and you can use the same options here for example according to this method there are no outliers in x there are no outliers in z but there are two outliers in y so select y column here click on select rows and we can see which rows contain outliers so again 365 and 412 
you can again use whatever option you like you can use exclude rows from here or you can use exclude rows from the uh, data table it itself we can change the method let's say Cauchy method click on rescan and according to this method the outliers change so depending upon which method you use either you use quartile based method or you use robust fit outliers based method the definition of quartile actually the definition of outlier or the uh, threshold of the outlier they change so that's how you use the explore outlier feature in jump to identify what are the outliers in your data and you can take then appropriate action what to do with those outliers thank you